In this example, I'm going to look at a Carnot engine cycle, where this Carnot engine is represented here. We're given high temperature and low temperature reservoirs. Their temperatures are constant. But now the Carnot engine high temperature is 600 degrees C and its low temperature is 150 degrees C. So there's a temperature difference between the reservoir and the high temperature of the engine, between the low temperature reservoir and the low temperature of the engine so that we have some rate of heat transfer. This makes the system irreversible. And now the question is, what's the entropy change for the engine? And what's the entropy change for the high temperature reservoir when 500 joules of work have been generated? So 500 joules of work, this is work coming out. We'll put a minus sign here because we're removing energy. We have a high temperature heat transfer, a low temperature at the cold temperature. And we have to be a little careful with notation. Since we're interested in the entropy change for the high temperature reservoir, I'll look at this QH so QH is going to be the heat transferred from the high temperature reservoir. And this value is negative, we're removing heat from the high temperature reservoir. So what we want to do is we're going to calculate first the entry change for the engine, and that's zero. And that's zero because the engine's running in a cycle, steady state, it keeps getting back to the same conditions, so there's no entropy change because entropy is a state function, and we keep returning to the same state. So the entropy change for the high temperature reservoir is QH over TH. And there's a couple things we want to keep in mind. One, we have to make sure we're using the QH from the reservoir. This QH is going to be a negative value. And TH, we have to use absolute temperature. So 1000 plus 273, so the temperature is in Kelvin. In order to calculate QH when we know W, we'll take advantage of a relation for a Carnot cycle where to work. Now, now we're doing the balance on the engine, on right here. So work over QH, and I put a prime here because this is now for the engine, not for the reservoir. And the difference is this number is positive. We're adding energy to the engine. And this is related to the low temperature for the engine and the high temperature for the engine to get the efficiency. So these have to be absolute temperatures. So the low temperature 150 C and the high temperature is 600 degrees C. So the work over QH prime is equal to 0 0.515. The work is 500 absolute value here in the calculation. So plus 500 equals 0, 0.515 times QH prime, which means QH prime is 970 joules. And again, note that this is positive because we're looking at the engine, which means QH, the heat transfer from the high temperature reservoir, is negative 970. And so we can go back and calculate the entropy change for this high temperature reservoir, QH over TH, that value of minus 0 0.76 joules per Kelvin. Indeed, this value is negative, as we expect, because we're losing heat for high temperature reservoir. If we were to calculate the entropy change for low temperature reservoir, that would be positive, and it would be, in absolute value, a larger number, so the overall entropy change is going to be greater than zero for this problem. And remember, delta S for the engine is equal to zero.